I want to illustrate using changes in pipe 2000. For this system, for example, we want to change the demand at this node, say run a second simulation uh, where the demand is 150 and maybe a third where it's 200, and then maybe a fourth simulation where it's 250 and we close this pipe at the same time. Now in order to do that, we can bring up the change box for the uh, node information data and these are already set up. I've got change number one, a demand of 150, change number two, a demand change of 200, change number three, demand change of 250. The way we do this, of course, we just enter. I can actually set up a fourth one if I want. Here we have some selections we can choose. We can do a junction demand and say here 300 if we want it. Now I also at for the third change I wanted to close this pipe so I can select that pipe and here for change number three the pipe is closed. Now I could put another change in say change number four we could select a number of parameters for example I could open up this pipe. So this simulation has already been run the first three cases and we can look at the effects of these cases for example I could turn on the uh, the pressures here and for the original data they're 57 if I increase this demand they're 50.7 I increase it a second time it's down to 42 this was at 200 gallons per minute I increase it a third time and it's down to 21 and this line is closed and we can see that from the large pressure differential now the changes can be set up for regular simulations or these could be times. If this were an extended period simulation then this would be at time 3 and at time 4. All the changes are summarized under the setups and default change pattern screen and we can see for pipes the changes I put in pipe number 7 in change 3 was closed and change 4 was open. The node number was 20 and these were the changes that we've set up. The change patterns can be saved under names that we give it. We can then reload these change patterns for other simulations as long as we use the same baseline data with the same node and pipe numbers. So the changes give us a lot of flexibility for running additional regular simulations or for making changes during extended period simulations.